Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of our RimWorld 1.0 playthrough with the Cold Foresters. We are overlooking well, the aftermath of last episode's disaster when we rushed a poison ship and, um, I don't know, six centipedes came out or so, and we just, uh, our, our plan sort of hinged on getting a doomsday rocket launcher shot off early and then following up with EMP, but these guys got hit hard immediately and, and couldn't even get any kind of attack off. And, you know, these guys didn't do so much better, but we eventually wore them down and retreated, and, uh, but we did lose... I'm saying this excitedly. We did lose five people, unfortunately. Um, however, I now remember that we have one Resurrector Mech Serum left. And I think we should... I think since we have one, I mean, we kind of have a responsibility to try and use it on one of these people. Now, there are a few things to consider. I've been thinking about who deserves this the most. Um, or who who would be... It would be best used on. Um, but I'd like to kind of walk through it and see... Uh, what we come up with here. We've got Slothful and Abrasive Arison, who can't do dumb labor. Which is a pretty huge strike, especially now when we've got so much cleaning up and hauling to do to kind of get back on track. Um, it really hurts not having someone uh, able, able to do those things. Uh, so I'm thinking Arison's a no. Plus, a lot. oh, it's not showing her opinions. I guess Arison was relatively re well liked, but um, two people here didn't like her. Anyway, um, then we've got Philly. Gourmand Tough Nudist. Can't do hauling or skilled labor. He's very specialized, and, you know, he does social and fighting. That's just not enough, I don't think. Uh, Burton, Underground or Neurotic Sanguine. Uh, neurotic and Sanguine are kind of a nice pairing because Neurotic gives you a global work, work speed bonus um, with the penalty that your mental break threshold is 8% higher, which in this case means 8% more, you know. Think of it as, like, your, your threshold lowering as things get worse, and then once it crosses that threshold... Um, you have a chance to break, and so if that threshold is higher, then you know you're, that point's going to happen sooner. But it's um, somewhat offset by Sanguine, which is just a permanent plus twelve to your mood. Um, then we've got Lady, staggeringly ugly, fast walker. Um, not a bad option, although we also have to consider the health here. And um, no one else previously had anything crazy going on. I don't think I kind of looked. Well, you're going to have to replace your arm because uh, your forearm being shattered, I think, is basically like losing an arm. Um, but Lady here has is missing two legs. Or no, sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> Lady's missing two legs and an arm. And that's just a little bit too much for us to repair. Plus, she's missing 38% of her body parts. I guess that's from the injuries. Usually they show you that based on like animals nibbling on you. But in this case, I think it has to do with, with her combat injuries and here Julian's also lost a, a limb now but he does have some good skills gourmand gay transhumanist can't do dumb labor though again uh, that makes things kind of tough it's nice to have the cooking skill but we have other people that can cook so it's not as valuable in this case so I think I have kind of gone with Burton he's also missing by far the fewest body parts whether that's from animals nibbling on him or or the battle we just had so the question is, how do we best get out here and get Burton before maybe, I don't know, this roaming lynx decides to, to bite something off of him? Oh, you know, I didn't... Oh, yeah, Julian's up here. Oh, Philly, sorry. Yeah, so we have to take care of all of these guys. Arison, yeah, we just went through, went through everyone. Um, before we get things rolling, I, I kind of want to get this sorted before I get the clock running here. Um, I no longer think it makes sense to kind of have this room the way it is now that we've lost five people. This is kind of a luxury thing when you have a lot of colonists. So I think what we'll do is keep the general room, but um, kind of convert it to just a place of work. And so we'll have uh, maybe stone floors to protect the drills. Maybe we will go with fire after all. Get the beds out of here. Maybe leave a statue and a light and let people come and go as they please. So to, to get started, um, no more restriction for the miners. Let's get that knocked out. So that's a tinny. Um, Oh man, just a, a full bloody hospital. We never like to see that. Um, I have gone through and kind of peeked at these injuries to see how people are doing, and there's nothing too catastrophic going on here. Uh, as you can see, Mal's already bandaged up. He is our extreme break risk, about to break. Um, a lot of that's from being hungry. Oh, it's only a minus six. Slept in the cold. This room is a 64. That should be fine. But you're getting fed now, it looks like. Yeah, feeding fine meal to Mal. We need to get someone in here to clean this up. Um... Although I'd let mostly people that can clean are also doctoring. Like Kimmy's a doctor. You're relaxing socially, Kimmy. 
Um, well, you are a doctor, but go ahead and prioritize cleaning this blood. And I'm going to queue up a few of these commands. Uh, oops, I hit, the, I hit control instead of shift there. There we go. All right, so she's going to get a bunch. Uh, now the question is, who do we send down here? I think it, it looks like Huber's in the best shape. And he's building a steel spike trap, which actually we don't even want in the first place. Ah, uh, yes, these were set to auto rearm, I'm sure. So I'm going to cancel these, cancel this, get the steel back. We don't go steel anymore. That's a granite. That's set to auto rearm. Auto rearm. This is steel, it looks like, yeah. That's a granite. That's fine. And I think there's one hiding in here, yeah. Um, don't auto rearm. I'm not sure if there's one there yet or not. But Huber, how you're doing okay, right? Um, oh, you're jealous of a Tinny's bedroom. That's right, you're the jealous one. Uh, where is a Tinny's room here? Um, oh, a Tinny's are... <laughs> you're jealous of the mining shack? A Tilly's in the mining shack. Well, I guess now that Lady... So as soon as Lady died, Huber became jealous because the Tinny had her own room here. Sorry, a Tinny. He had his own room. Um... That's funny. Well, we're, we're going to deconstruct this anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. That'll correct itself uh, in a matter of time. So, Hubert, uh, before we get things started, come and grab this. Y use this. Cannot merge. Okay, yeah. We're not going to haul it into something. I want you to use it. Right, and it'll ask me who you want to use it on. We've done this before somewhat recently. Oh, it, does, it asked me now. Okay. Use it on Burton here. Even Oh, no. he's. i got to unforbid him. That's right. And then hope that no one hauls him. Yeah, this was kind of finicky last time. It's like, it doesn't take the place of a haul command or something. So, someone can kind of step in and, and ruin it. I remember, we, actually, Mal, I think it was. Yeah, we were trying to resurrect. But, um, someone kept burying him before we could get there. So, Huber's going to go do that. Hopefully, everyone else is going to get cleaned up, get bandaged up. Get things in order. I've got a lot of hauling to do. I kind of took a glance through the work tab to kind of balance out some of the hauling or, or increase the priority for a few people. Uh, Big Red's fully healed. Love seeing that. And here we go. Let's hopefully, hopefully there's no uh, like brain injury or something. There's things that can happen. So Mal is now resurrected and you have resur resur <laughs> resurrection sickness and that's it. And you need res rescue. So let's go uh, and take care of that right now. Um, we will leave these guys forbidden until the graves are built. A tinny's down here. Okay, a tinny, yeah, you're now unrestricted. That's good to see. Unforbid, unforbid. Before you go, where are you going now? To repair a slate wall? Great. Uh, prioritize hauling J J uh, Lady first. Although, Lady has... Yeah, I can't just take off... Oh, I thought you had a shield belt. I wouldn't mind taking off some of these shield belts, but I don't know how to just do that without stripping them completely. Because the shield belts do not get tainted uh, when you die, as everything else does. Uh, but I don't see an easy way, so we're just going to leave the clothes on and lose the shield belt. That'll be fine. And once you're done with that, nope. Um, get Julian in here. And repairing slate wall. Yeah, but go, go ahead and... Oh, Big Red's coming out to do that? Go ahead and cut in line there. Oh, Big Red's already here. Sorry, Big Red. But, uh, and now you want to repair the slate wall? I'll tell you what, why don't you go and bury Philly? And who do we have here? Arison? I guess I miscounted. Oh, I, I, I dug a grave for Burton, who is now back. Burton's back. And oh, by the way, this is a Tinny's bedroom because a Tinny is the ascetic. So, Burton, I'm surprised you chose this. I think there's other rooms open for you. Maybe you were just carried there. Yeah, I guess you didn't really need a hospital stay. You just need to sleep, so that's the closest bed available. Tinny is now in a daze. Uh, that we can live with. It's, it's a hard time. She's not going to hurt anyone. Maybe she will get hurt. Oh, sorry, he will get hurt by something else, but... Not too worried. Repairs are happening. Hopefully we'll get these mechanoids hauled in. I certainly don't want them to deteriorate, but we've got a long way to go before that happens. Okay, Mike can walk again. That's good. He doesn't walk very fast. Mike is our slowpoke slothful. Um, yeah, so Huber, now that you're back... Oh, sorry. Let's let's get rid of these. Let's get this underway here. Um, 
Just gonna uninstall. We might need these later. Uninstall all this stuff. We could probably sell it for more than the wood would be worth to us by breaking it down. Um, I guess I'll leave the table in here for the miners. That makes sense. And let's see. I'm gonna uninstall most of this stuff. Uninstall you. The TV will reinstall somewhere. You know, does this make sense or is that going to deteriorate? It does have a hit points. Yeah, so it probably needs to be inside. Oh shit, Mike gave up. It's a problem. Uh, we're gonna have to. Shit, we're gonna arrest Mike. Um, we'll just uninstall this TV for now. Man. I'm surprised Mike gave up. Um, intense pain. Um,. Yeah, I mean, but you're you're healing now. Pain is seventy four percent. Where are you, Mike? Oh, jeez. Um, Burton's still vomiting, but after that, he's gonna rest. <laughs> he has that in the queue after he's done with his vomiting. You're uninstalling the bed. Who are we gonna have come arrest you? Um, I guess Ng Huber, and that'll have to be it. You guys come down here. I'll send one of you to arrest soon. Luckily, Mike's slow. And maybe we give Mike the paint stopper. It's like no one's moving too fast right now. So Huber, I believe your melee is not bad. Nope, that's wrong. NG's equally as bad. Try to arrest Mike. And NG, you come and just be ready to, to back up. And help help Huber. Oh, good. He, he went willingly. That's fantastic. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Um, so you'll go to prison, and I guess we'll have to recruit you. How does this work? Oh yeah, he's just like a prisoner now. Okay, recruit Mike again. Hopefully he keeps his work uh, priorities. Uh, Arison's still unburied. Let's get her in that last grave. A tinny, are you finally okay? You're still in a psychotic wander wandering state. And a raccoon just bit off Arison's head. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, head was freshly bitten off by a raccoon. Okay. Uh, let's at least get the shotgun in. I still have Huber drafted. That's a huge waste of time. He's going to go smoke a joint. That's fine. Really got to get some cleaning done, although the hospital is now relatively clean. At least we have the blood off. I think that's a big deal. Um, oh, the, the hospital might be a good place for the TV, actually. It's all here. Still need to haul it. Um, but as it is, we'll get rid of this too. We'll reinstall you. Well, you know what? There's no problem. I have no problem with you taking a break to do this. Now, our plan here is we, now we've got a decent amount of stone blocks. Sandstone's perfect because we don't need it to be strong. It's just going to be sandstone, flagstone. Well, I guess we'll make it a little prettier. Um, it's going to be like this... Oh, you can't put that on top of the bridge. Well, that's fine if that tile burns. Now, I think fire can jump two tiles. So we might want to go... Hmm. Does that mean we have to go this far? Something like that? I don't love that, but it will be enough to create a hot enough fire to burn any potential bugs. Uh, tinny collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Yeah, that tends to happen after Psychic Wander, especially so far from the base. It looks like certain things are starting to get hauled in. It's great. Um, I don't see Arison's shotgun. Yes, I do. It's right here. I'd love to get that in because it's nice. Actually, that was Pacheco's. Arison just died near it. Got to get this thrombo horn in. Yeah, I'm going to look into a mod where I can just kind of have a... Like, temporarily put everyone on a number one haul. And then just reload it and not have to remember what all the numbers were, you know. That would be nice because I would love to just change these things temporarily, but then I always forget to change them back. And if I do remember to change them back, I, I often forget what they were. Not that it totally matters. I mean, maybe it's, it's something that should be being tuned all the time and kind of fluid. But I feel like when I said it initially, I put some thought into it and I don't remember what that line of thinking was. And I, I would like to trust it and hope it was somewhat a decent line of thinking. Uh, okay, so someone's missing a ranged weapon. That's Kimmy. Uh, she, of course, she, she has picked up a uh, shield belt. I believe this belongs to you, this charged lance. So grab that and really quickly drop this. 
This whole process, and then we'll unforbid that. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Minor break risk. That's good. Down to minor. One colonist needs warm clothes. I'm not too worried about that. Um, but speaking of tailoring bills, 61 out of 105 for the bowler hats we're trying to fulfill. Uh, okay, so we have someone that's only going to last eight days. She's a 20-year-old nurse. We do have quite a few doctors, but it never hurts to have uh, talented uh, medics. Two turrets, one mortar, and two enemies. That sounds pretty easy for a 20-year-old uh, doctor, or nurse, rather. Yeah, I think that's worth looking into. And you know what? She's on the way to uh, the hat place. Maybe if we left... Maybe we could go and split off. Does that make sense? I guess... What would that give us? That would give us a little bit more protection for the caravan early on. But really, that's about it. How long is that trip these days? Winter is now four days in. 2.2 .2 days already. Yeah, so it looks like we're going at about half speed compared to usual. 3.6 days. Yeah, that's usually a little over a day trip. And we've got how much time again? 11.9 days. That's getting a little close, actually. Especially because I don't see us getting to that as quickly as we were, you know, five people ago. Although, um, Burton just has the sickness. I don't know if any brain damage or anything would, would show up yet. So we're, we're going to try to get Kristen, but we're going we're gonna to have to see. I don't know. Um, really got to get some of the stuff in. I mean, it's not deteriorating too fast. It's pretty resilient stuff. Put a haul on this. They know to, how to prioritize things. Like, they won't haul the slags before uh, the actual steel or the advanced components. There is kind of an internal in, uh, internal hierarchy going on. But I kind of just want to send someone out to... You know what? I got, Oh, here's one thing we could do. No more restrictions for Emmy and Serrano in the compound. Serrano's going to have to chip in and haul some things. Um, like, go get that thrumble horn. And then maybe the advanced components? Yeah... Or these mechanoids, how are they doing? I mean, not to mention our own animals. Poor Jack and Tanner. I mean, we sort of sent them on a suicide mission. Probably not fair to them, but... Uh, yeah, we just kind of tried to kind of blitzkrieg those guys. Didn't totally work. And totally is not the right word there. I, don't, I think the right word was uh, at all. Mofalo walking around. Okay, I guess kind of what we're doing now is just trying to... That's nice to see some Panoxyclean in there. Trying to get these uh, hats finished. I mean, those five doomsdays... I mean, let's be honest. In our hands, there's a good chance that they would be responsible for our demise. But I think they also give us a great chance. Or a better chance. That's a lot of firepower to send at. I mean, I mean, I don't know what to expect. Say, you know, 30 centipedes show up in the corner or something. That anti-grain could be a lifesaver. Alright, so I'm enjoying the peace after the storm. I'm hoping it lasts a bit. People are going to do some breaking. Yeah, although the moods seem to be overall improving. Huber's insulting everyone. Uh, oh, you're jealous of Engie's bedroom now. Right, we forgot to address that. But we can address that right now. I don't know why we always give in to your demands. That's probably the main problem, but... Uh, whoa. That was hunting, I hope. It, it happened the same time as a social fight, so I'm going to pause it just to make sure. Where's Engie's room? Sure, I looked right over it. Um, oh, she's down here. Oh, right, it's got this jade statue. Uh, sorry guys, go find something else. This is now Huber's room. Actually, no. NG, I'm not going to displace NG and Big Red. What I'm going to do instead... Uh, wait, reassign, assign. Oh, they don't have rooms right now. Yeah, so assign NG and assign Big Red. Uh, what I'm going to do is reinstall this into Huber's bedroom, which is hopefully a decent one already.
Not sure. Um, maybe he doesn't have one at the moment. Yeah, he doesn't have one. So we'll give him what is already a pretty good room, but um, we're going to reinstall this uh, Jade statue in there. Right at the foot of his bed so he can be reminded of his selfishness. Okay. Uh, major break risk. Oh, right. We had that social fight. Right. Colonist needs treatment. Yeah, big red and lines. What the hell are you doing? You're hauling this. Okay. You're not pointing it at lines. That must have been hunting. Uh, yeah, here's Matthew hunting. Uh, okay, something was in our base. He was just shooting at that. That makes a lot more sense. It takes a lot for guys just to start opening, open firing on each other. But, um, yeah, a lot of dirt around here. It's not really happening. Someone lacks a ranged weapon now. Yeah, Burton, you are now up and moving. Um, are you a hunter? You, you were always in our melee group, I thought. Burton. Oh, you got reset because you died. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's take a quick look, refamiliarize ourselves with Burton's stats here. We'll give him the standard uh, high priority ones. You're not a warden. You're not really an animal handler. We'll come back to that. You're not a hunter because you are going to be melee. You can grow. You can mine. Uh, and you have a passion for crafting, but no skill yet. You know what? Start on the tailor. Uh, you might be too slow, though. Hmm. Yeah, just just start with this. And in fact, um, when you're not growing, what you're going to do high priority. And in fact, if I do a plant cut command, I want you out there. I want you to grow... Then haul. Actually, you know what? Then clean, then haul. In fact, grow clean, then mine. We, we definitely need mining help. Forget the handling. Or make it a four. I mean, I, I, I don't mind you shearing or milking and things like that. Uh, although I, I would prefer you didn't try and train anyone. But I suppose that's fine. Oh, you can do research too, which is going to be slow. But we need people looking for resources, so... Even though you'll probably never get to it, we'll throw a four on there. And I guess we'll be happy with this. Yeah, uh, we do need to get some cleaning help. Yeah, and we don't want to ne uh, neglect our plants either. Got some Devil Strand coming in. We have that as a high priority parka job. Um, it is very fire resistant and, and tough. I'm not sure how well it insulates. I think decent enough if you're wearing a parka. Mike's gonna go smash things in his room. Uh, okay, right. How do we make Mike? Oh, your wife Arison died. That's gonna be a, a big uh, hit to the mood. Disturb sleep. Well, at least your rival lady died. Very impressive dining room, and you're luxuriantly comfortable. Okay, well, you can smash whatever you want in there. Um, oh, shit, don't smash Boomstick, though. I am okay with Boomstick going in there, though. The repairs are on. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take a while to recruit Mike. He was really shaken by that. Even though he came quietly. Probably still stunned from what happened. All right, good to see some crafting going on. This is going to be huge. You're making a parka. Uh, I know we need it, but... I mean, if we don't get on this, we're going to run out of time. Um, what do we got here? Oh, still 11.4 days. I guess I've <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time with this paused. Well, after this is over, you're, we're going to be ready to move on anyway. So, okay, fine. Finish that, and then it'll be all bowling hats, bowler hats, and then hopefully we can kind of pick up the uh, speed again. Got a little alp alpaca walking around, though we did name him, so we are aware of his existence. Got Nelson rolling joints, which is fine. I guess we don't need the steel yet. I mean, I haven't even mentioned the ship this episode. We're kind of... Oh, we don't have anything queued up to even build. Uh, major break was for Huber. Drowsy, darkness, minor pain. Yeah, I mean, beauty, comfort, recreation, rests. You should hopefully be able to take care of those on your own and be okay. Uh, meanwhile, the ship over here. I guess we'll go ahead and queue up... Um, three more of these on the other side and a bulk goods trader that might be just what we need 
I guess so it matches the top. That'll be fine. Um, yeah, advanced components will be an issue. Although we have some to bring in. We only have one, though. We have the ability to craft quite a few more. Or do we? I mean, it, it takes more steel than I than I thought. Yeah, 20 steel, which isn't that easy to come by for us. And then the plasteel, which we're doing fine on, right? We had that meteorite that I probably has been mined. Oh, no, we're still chipping away. That's right. This is really hard to mine. It takes, it takes quite a long time. Yeah, 8,000 hit points. Whereas a normal stone, 450. So, you know, 20 times, almost 20 times more as, as strong as that. Uh, let's go talk to that trade ship. We've got money and probably a lot of things we could use. Serrano, right? Serrano's no longer restricted to the compound, so that was maybe a longer walk than usual. Um, normally we give our puppies away because it just feels like the right thing to do as opposed to selling them, but um, we're going to make an exception here. We don't need to improve relationships really with any particular faction, and I do want to kind of simplify things because we have these set to train and all sorts of things, and we kind of are, are spread a bit thin on our work. And I think reducing the number of animals will, will help that a bit. So Manabu, even though that's an awesome name, um, we're going to have to send you away. Hopefully Ghostface doesn't notice. Uh, Alcatraz and Ghostface stay. They've been around too long. Mai has been around f a full year already, huh? Let's look at your records. 31 days. Okay, only 31 days. <laughs> Nearly a, oh wait, over a third of that in bed? No, I'm reading that wrong. Uh, a fourth of that in bed. Okay, that's that's normal, I guess. Um, time under a roof. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at here. But do we... Oh, I can't see your training from here. I'm guessing you are fully trained because of your value. Maybe it's just your age and your health, but... Um, we'll keep my around. We've got a pregnant buffalo. That's good to see. Um, they do have dromedaries, good hauling animals, but we're, we're kind of committed to the buffalo now, I think. Plus, we still have the alpaca we take care of. Um, so anyway, going uh, too slow here. Let's see. Uh, let's get rid of some of this insect meat. I might regret this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go as conservative and say let's get rid of 300. Well, I mean, if our fridge has room, no, you know what? I don't want to do it. Yeah, actually, yeah. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I do. We've had too much for too long. And more bugs will come with the way we drill. Actually, more bugs are going to come fairly quickly with the way we, we drill, so... Let's go ahead and get rid of 500. We could probably get rid of well more than that. Um, We've got some corn and potatoes and berries. That's great to see. Do we want... I guess we're doing okay on meat. Um, We will take some neutromine, as usual. Yeah, we've got tons of money. We might as well uh, make sure we're well in the clear there. We'll take a little chem fuel for flights and things. We don't need components. We will take all your advance, which is just two. Cloth we're doing fine on again. We'll sell some of the small stack stuff. Uh, pig skin, camel hide. Okay. Smoke leaf. Um, yeah, take two of four, although... I thought the money would be higher for that. Um, Luciferium, no, we need it. Steel, 644, yes, thank you. And Uranium, oh yes. Um, this is lucky. The last trade ship, or was it a caravan? Didn't have steel. Oh, you know, it's probably a caravan. This stuff's too heavy, but they can take it on a ship, I guess. Um, that's fantastic. And you know what? We didn't get any psychoid leaves, really, from our last harvest. I don't know where 137 came from. But we need our tea, so let's take like 500. Beer. Um, take 143. I mean, our fridge, our shelf is full. We've got a little overflow here, but we also just finished brewing our spring harvest, so it's, it's going to have to last a while. So I'm hesitant to leave us with just a shelf left. Um... So we'll go like 180 or something. 
And they have wood too. Yeah, they give us like 500 wood. Yeah. Oh, that's huge. And it's not even that expensive. Can we buy... We're taking all your steel, all your uranium. How much would all your plasteel cost? Not a ton. I mean, not a thousand. And that would prob probably be all the plasteel we needed. Okay. Um, they've got some clothes. Let's get rid of some of this uh, worn stuff. Uh, no bowler hats, though, right? we got to keep our bowler hats. Um... I'm going to hold on to our clothes for now because I don't want a new build to open up and take away from the bowling hat, uh, bowler hat uh, effort. We will give you these. No, I'm not going to mess with the cowboy hats. Not yet. We'll keep our clothes. Uh, you know what? I will buy like 30 gold. Just because the advanced components use them and maybe some other things. Do you sell foil helmets? No. Okay. Uh, well, I'm fairly happy with this. It's a big chunk of our money, but we still got a decent amount left. And we're getting some huge boost to our materials. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's going to be an effort in itself to haul. But luckily, things like the steel don't deteriorate. Um, or the uranium. Or the plasteel? Oh, cool. Um, everything else does. Okay. That's fantastic. Well, I guess on that brighter note, we'll leave it there. Uh, I did, certainly didn't expect to get a, a material influx uh, during this episode, but that was a nice little uh, gift. And yeah, this is going to be closer than I expected, um, especially if any more tragedy hits the colony or, or even something that divides our efforts. But um, certainly doable. Uh, did we not finish that park? Oh, Angie's working on it. Mal's working on this. What are you guys doing now? Disassembling Mechanoid. Right. Okay, we'll have to power through that, and then hopefully by next episode we'll be able to focus entirely on the bowler hats, at least for one of those people. And actually, that reminds me, I'll probably want to duplicate that bill so more than one person can work on it at a time. Although they are, they are so quick to make that um, it might not be something where someone leaves a job half-finished. Uh, still 10.7 days. That means you have, what, still 6.8. So we've got some time uh, to respond, um, but we'll have to do it relatively quickly, and we'll do that next time. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you then.